Hey guys, I was asked to make a video about hip flexors. Um, and when I asked my friend why, he said it's because he cannot sit cross-legged. Okay, so I'm gonna address why we cannot sit cross-legged and four movements to do to help you sit cross-legged. Um, so one of the first things is I really want us to start thinking of the body as a whole and kind of avoid singling muscles out. Um, and just a reason for that is there's so many things that happen when we don't have a certain range of motion. And when we just focus on one thing, it can reduce our effectiveness and uh, get a little bit discouraging. So when we can't sit cross-legged, there are a number of things going on. One, it could be some tightness in the inner thighs. It could as well also be um, some pelvis tightness through here and through here, which is not allowing our hips to rotate enough to give us this motion and allow the knees to drop. There could also be hip external rotation. So this is when the hips rotate externally as opposed to internally. Um, so we're going to address a few of the things here in this video. Now, one of the first things I want you to do is get into your cross-legged position wherever you can. Now, from here, you're going to meet the body where it's at because that's when the body feels safe and it can open. So we're not going to try to push anything down because the body won't respond to that. It perceives danger and the stretch receptors will pull even tighter. So if you're about here, you're going to take something and you're going to help support your body to hold this position. You can do one at a time. So you're just going to stay here, hands behind so your whole body can relax and this leg can open up a little bit more. If you're here for long enough and you notice you have more space, everything opened up a little bit, you can move your prop a little bit farther apart to let this knee open and drop a little bit more. If you want to do both, you can grab two supports for under your knees and you can lay all the way back into a butterfly position. You're welcome to lay in that position for five, 10, 15 minutes, as long as you're consciously releasing the tension using your breath. Now, uh, another movement you want to do is likely if you're not sitting cross-legged, the inner thigh muscles are not moving through their whole range of motion. So you could benefit by releasing them just a little bit. So how you do that is you can put your roller on the inner thigh and you release the inner thigh muscles. All right. So you lay here, you find a trigger point and then you move, Ooh, you find another one and you can use your breath here, consciously releasing the tension that's there. Um, what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna be grinding in the inner thigh muscles. Again, the body just perceives danger and the muscles tighten up even more and it's not effective. Now, another muscle that gets short and doesn't move through its full range of motion is the glute family. So if this is your max range of motion, chances are your glutes are not getting stretched as much as they can be. So again, we can benefit by a little bit of release initially. And I like to use the roller also for awareness. So we know what areas are tight. So you're just gonna lean over. And again, you would do this on both sides if this is an issue on both sides, which likely it is. And you would find some spots, figure out if you need to turn more to the side or if facing up feels like a little more tender, you can address all those areas. Now, we want to stretch the area as well. So what I recommend, elevated pigeon, getting the support for the knee and opening these muscles. I'm gonna show you on this side so you can see, you're gonna put that leg up onto your couch or your ottoman, whatever is there for you. And this will allow you to stretch these muscles. If you have space, you would just lean forward a little bit. So there's no right or wrong here. I'm going to show you what it can look like. Your knee does not have to be 90 degrees. If you can't sit cross-legged, this is gonna not happen. So you're just gonna flex your knee a little bit more, stand a sit up tall, and then flex forward and allow the stretch to release wherever you feel it. If you feel it a little bit more through the inner thighs, again, there's so much that happens when you can't sit cross-legged. So that is very valid. Um, if you feel the opening and the stretching through your inner thighs. One of the last things you're gonna do is you're gonna create 
hip extension. So this is what's going to address those hip flexors. Um, cause when we're sitting like this, there is no extension. We're very flexed in this area. So we're going to create some opening in through that area. There's a couple of ways to do this. The way that I like to teach people is pretty intense. Um, so you can see how it goes. You can use a roller. Um, if you feel like you're not sure if this is going to work for you, you can use soft pillows and just stack up three or four pillows. You won't do any harm and uh, it'll actually be really restorative for even your digestive system and your diaphragm, which is our breathing muscle, because we're going to open all these tissues up. So from here, again, I'm going to use the roller. You can use pillows. You're going to put this under your pelvis. And you're just going to open and relax. I'm going to turn a little bit. Whew, and I'm going to breathe. And I'm going to feel the opening through the front here. If you ever need more, gently ensuring this part is really relaxed, you can create a little extra pull and pull your knee towards your chest. Anytime you're amplifying a stretch, just making sure that you can still connect to your breath so you know you haven't gone too far. Um, so these are some suggestions. In my experience, they've worked really well. This is also the first round of how you would increase your ability to sit cross-legged. The second round of what you would do is you would build strength. So you would encourage your external rotation muscles to strengthen. So that will be like the clamshells where you put the bands around your knees and you open and close. So building the strength will allow your body to know that it has the strength to get into an external rotated position. If the body perceives weakness, it just will naturally tighten because it wants to protect us from going into any ranges of motion that we don't have the capability to control in. I hope that makes sense. With all of these positions, try to find the best position that works for you because again, my body is so different than yours and um, your nervous system is used to other movements than what my nervous system is used to. Thanks and let me know if you have any questions.